Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back to my garage, everybody. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Let's get pulled up here real quick. We're back at the old house. And uh, today we are going to do some things, and that's right. Um, anyway, we are going to actually fix that car down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's grab we the problem with that car for the five star. Uh, you probably know that it's from these little covers. So here's a right one. Let's take this. We just need to grab a left one. For, oh, this is a left one. I guess we could put random ones on there. Um, you know what? Let's do that since both of these have uh, oil caps or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's all we're going to need, though. Let's go ahead and shut this. Um, let's go ahead and head back to town with our truck here. And maybe while we're in town after we sell, because we're going to be selling the old Chad today. Uh, replacing these little engine parts should give us a full, okay, five star. I can't quite see where my, uh, I think I got my brake on. I can't quite see where my driveway is. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. We're screwing up. We're screwing up. Let's just get backed over. There we go. Okay. Let's head to town. Let's go ahead and finish up that BART. Uh, we should get about 30,000 30, from it, right? Something like that. I think it's worth 23,000 uh, with a $10,000 bonus. So yeah, yeah, we should get about 30 grand, which will put us back up quite a bit. Now, the next question is, what do we do from here? I think we're gonna continue doing some five-star builds. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be the best solution. I thought about painting our fleet up again and getting everything up to par. Um, I might do that, but I might just do that in between episodes. Let's get pulled over here, however. We're just going to park it right here for now. Okay, let's put that brake on. Okay, okay, let's get out. Um, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll... I don't know what we'll do. I don't know what we'll do. I don't have anything planned. Unfortunately, I don't script anything. Like, I just come in with a fresh brain, and uh, we kind of just go from here. Anyway, let's go ahead and replace these cylinder covers. Yeah, because these are paintable. Um, we should have a wrench down here still. Maybe. Not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go over here to the garage. Uh, we should have a wrench in here. I think I could see it from here, actually. Okay, we have two wrenches there. Put the bag away. All right, let's go ahead and swap these out. Yeah, because these are called like paintable chrome or something like that. Um, I don't know exactly the deal with them because as you could tell, they weren't paintable. Oh, look, I didn't even have it fully tight either. Anyway, anyway, what side is this? The right. Um, did we drop our other ones? This is a right cover. There it is. Let's go ahead and get it tightened. One, two, three, and four, and five. Let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. There she is. There she is. Let's go ahead and put this one on. It does fit. It doesn't look right, but that's okay. We're not here for a beauty contest. Not today. Not today. Let's take a look at it. Oh, I wasn't. It was not. It was not the problem. Darn it. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, it could still be the engine block. It could still be the engine block. Yeah, yeah. I've pretty much... Well, I didn't pretty much. I have. I've freaking covered this whole damn thing, so... Um, I'm pretty sure it's the engine block. Well, it's okay. It's We're going to get this thing up to five stars. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to... Yeah, because if we look at these, it's called Paintable Valve Cover left chrome paint so i don't know what that means anyway let's bag them and uh just move them to the garage real quick and yeah we're just going to have to sell some stuff so i think it costs 1300 let's go into our b200 garage i think it's uh number one now we have quite a bit of parts in here or the B200. Uh, you know what? Give me a second. I'm going to do a little bit of building in here. Uh, let's run across the street to Triangle Headman. 
Like what a name. What the hell? I don't know what to name him. Let's call him. The hell should we name that bastard? Look at him with his beady eyes. Just kidding. They're not beady at all. They're like freaking saucers. Anyway, anyway, uh, let's grab uh, this one. This one has the lights on it. And we're going to light up that. That warehouse a little bit. Okay, okay, yeah, let's throw some lights in this thing. It's really dark. Okay, I called the electrician up. Uh, he wired this place up. He added a new switch for us. He didn't quite put it on right. But anyway, look at it. It looks a lot brighter now. Now watch, let's turn that one off. Let's turn this one on. It's on. Oh yeah, that's way better. Way better. Yeah, I had to bring this one over so I could hook up the light switch. Anyway, it looks great. Um, What are we going to do? We're going to sell one of these things. That's right. So... We might as well sell the big one. Uh, let's head down to Steve. Oh God, it's it's almost noon. We have five minutes to get down there. Okay, hurry, hurry, run, fool, run. Any chance you've met my brother Ray? Oh God, only four fifty nine. Oh damn it, we didn't even sell it. Hold on. Oh, 14. Holy crap, dude, that went for way more. How much did it say it was selling for? I think it only said like 400 bucks. Anyway, we have enough money to paint this thing now. So let's do it. We should probably save it just. Yeah, I think I'm going to save it just in case. Just in case it doesn't work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look at it one more time. Okay, so we can see here the color condition is stuck at four. So let's save it and then let's paint it. Okay, it is saved. Let's get up here to paint car. Uh, 017Z, no, D22. I'm pretty sure that was the right color. We did save it. Let's just go ahead and buy it. There we go. We spent $1,100 on this paint job. Uh, it does look the same color, and it's at a full five star. So, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, okay. This, we got to sell this thing now, you guys. We have to sell it. So let's take it down. Yeah, yeah, we did a good build on this. I'm pretty happy with it. And we're not going to screw it up. I was going to actually put a decal on here. But no, we're not going to mess it up. Anyway, let's take this into town, the service center. Let's go ahead and sell it. Okay, calm it, they. Calm it down. So it in reverse now. I thought about taking the pizza car down at the same time. I was going to throw this on the back of the hooker. And then I was going to grab a trailer and I was going to throw the Niv, the uh, pizza car on there. But I forgot that we broke the Niv, that that wheels. Oh, damn it. I forgot to put my clutch in that wheels busted. So uh, we're not taking the pizza car. There we go. Anyway, anyway, yeah, we're just going to take this by itself. Uh, let's go, though. Let's not wreck it as well. And if you don't know, uh, let's 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 put the brake on real quick. Hold on. Yeah, if you don't know, this has a 273 cubic inch V8 in it with a four speed gearbox and a 38 locked differential. I just wanted to put that out there before we actually uh, head out and see how fast this thing goes. Anyway, let's sew it into drive. Just kidding, it's uh it's first. Alright, let's floor it. And into fourth. Yeah, so as you can see it's not the fastest engine, but I like how long the gears are. And we're still almost hitting 200. I mean 200 kilometers. It's still pretty good speed. I mean, you know, 300 kilometers an hour is 200 miles per hour, I believe. So anyway, drop it down to second. There we go. Up into third. Let's see if we can stay on the correct side of the street, by the way. Yeah, yeah, this thing drives nice. It drives nice. It's a beautiful car. 
Yeah, I'm kind of sad though about the whole decal thing. I, I'm surprised it took me this long to actually try that idea out. Uh, but I thought I did try it before and I thought decals did not affect toward your paint score, but I guess I, I guess I was wrong about all of that, which really sucks because you could do some really cool builds, uh, with decals and still have your cars at, um, you know, a full hundred percent. So anyway, that does suck. I'm not too sure what I want to do next, however. Um, I think we're going to do some more five-star builds, to be honest with you. But I think what we're going to do is we're just going to... The next few episodes, I think we're going to buy from the used car lot. And um, basically just get those vehicles up to full five stars. There, And if you don't know, right here is the building supply store. Uh, that's where you get your building supplies, the, the things that I just made those lights with. So yeah, yeah, that's the pizza store, by the way, if you don't know, you can do deliveries there and uh, get a barn find. Anyway, we're here. Let's drop it down to second. Let's get pulled in here. Right here, put it in first and let's just go ahead and stop it. Put it in neutral. We're going to hit that break and let's get out. Let's get out. Okay. Well, here she is. The green bastard. I'm oh, just kidding. I need to start naming my cars, you guys. Uh, damn it. Anyway, uh, it was a nice build. It was a nice build. A green car with green interior. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at it. Okay. It's still 100%. $24,000. 10 of 24,000 is 2,400. And if we times 2,400 by three, that's what 24 or we could just round it up to 25, 5,000. Oh, wait, hold on a second. 2,400, right? Oh, did I do my math wrong? I thought I was getting like $10,000 bonus. Anyway, let's just sell this stupid thing. Uh, service center survey for selling. Let's do it. Okay. 30, I was right. Well, was I right? I don't know. Anyway, check it out. We get $31,000. A boom. Okay, we're not broke anymore. Thank the baby Jesus. Um, well, we're going to have to call this taxi. Damn it. Let's see if they have a phone in here we can use. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. Hello. Anybody here? Hello. Okay, well, they must be on lunch or something. Anyway, uh, we're going to call up a taxi. Oh, check this little room out, you guys. Interesting. Why is that a room, by the way? Oh, look, there's a vent up there. Was that vent always there? Anyway, yeah, look at this little room. Is this always here? Huh. And if you don't know, now you know. Anyway, anyway, there's no phone. It's okay. We're just going to have to uh, pretend that we have a cell phone. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's like some cleaning supplies. Oh, look at all the screws and stuff in these things. What the hell is this big old thing here? Is this just supposed to be a cardboard box? Anyway, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, let's go ahead and call up the old taxi. Ding, ding, ding. Well, that was a fast uh, travel, but we're back. We are back. So what do we want to do? Um, Let's shut this thing for one. It's going to save the game. Okay, it is saved. I think we're going to finish the black and white car. Uh, let's go to bay number two. Just kidding, just kidding. I think it was actually number five. No, six, it was six. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, five was the Niv, six was the Chad. Let's open this thing. Uh, and let's see here. Okay, this is not what I wanted. Uh, damn it. Oh, man, where did I put all the... Wait, what the hell car is this? Where did I put all the interior for the damn... Oh, is this still up at the uh, house or is it in the garage? Maybe let's take a look. Hold on. Yeah, this is the damn chat. I wanted to s fix the interior on this thing, by the way. Oh, that's all at the house. That's right. That's right. Okay. You know what? Screw it. Never mind. Uh, I was going to put all white interior in this uh, from the seat to the things here. But you know what we are going to do? We're going to go ahead and store some of these cards. We're going to put these in number seven bay. 
uh, the coronet and the Chad here. We're going to put away. Never mind. I changed my mind. We're not going to put those away. Screw it. We're just going to go buy a new car and uh, start repairing it. So let's head over here to the used car lot. Yeah, no, I was going to, but I don't really need to. Uh, maybe I do actually. I get a couple frame dips. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Anyway, let's come in here first and let's see what we can get. Okay, here we go. We have a small selection. We have a lad, which we don't really want. I mean, I do love the lads. Don't get me wrong. And I do love working on the lads, but you won't get a lot of profit. Here's a beautiful Jesse. That's probably worth it. Let's take a look. Oh, dude, should we just go ahead and buy this one? It's really expensive, but there's not a lot of work that we need to do to it. And we could probably, oh God, we could probably do a pretty quick flip on it. Uh, let's check this one. It's 11,000. You know what? We're going to buy the Jesse. We don't have to worry about the paint, which is great. Yeah, yeah. Let's just buy this and see if we can do anything with it. 20 grand. Uh, pretty expensive. Pretty ins expensive, yes. Now let's just jump in. Let's take it across the street to the garage there. And uh, yeah, yeah. Let's 100% this. Oh, look, there's a little bit of rust back there. Uh, let's, yeah, let's jump in. Um, dang it, it has blue interior, unfortunately. Oh, look, this uses the Bart's seat oh anyway let's jump in uh, let's get it started there we go sounds good let's throw it into first let's release that brake pop the clutch okay it doesn't have a lot of power going on right now that's okay though oh yeah i think we're gonna put those away i'm getting I'm, a couple dips down into the 30s there we go Oops, we stalled it. We stalled it. No, uh, that's fine. We're just going to park it right here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? So let's go ahead and open up Bay 7, actually. We are going to park the uh, the Harvey Dent, and we're going to park the Coronet. We should probably swap that tire out, but it's okay. Let's just open up Bay 7. Or actually, let's just put all my cars together. We're going to put them all in number 8. I don't know if there's a danger of putting them all in the same one or not, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's just go ahead and push this one back a little bit. This thing's awesome, by the way. I should start driving it. Um, no, it's, I'm just joking. This thing is not awesome. It's a good drag car to go in a straight line, uh, but it is not good to do anything else. Uh, you know, I thought about pulling this thing out and using it again because this thing is amazing. It's a 2.0 uh, liter uh, four banger. Anyway, anyway, let's get these in here. Uh, that looks like enough room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's squeeze in this one first. Uh, let's get jumped in. There we go. There we go. Let's pop it out actually uh, to this view. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Let's go ahead and throw it in a first. Oh yeah, this thing is a beast. Okay, uh, we need to get it turned around. Do you think we can without wrecking it? <laughs> oh, it's so funny when it does that. Anyway, it's like a little side burnout. Anyway, we're going back to first. We're going back to first. Let's go ahead and get it backed in, however. Easy, buddy. We're going to bring it in as close as we can to the El Camino over there. And there we go. There we go. We're going to throw it into neutral. Oh, no. Hit the brake. Oh, damn it. We're really close. Let's just jump across here. Oh, I don't think I can because of the stupid hump. Jump, fool. There we go. We got it. We got it. There we go. There we go. That's pretty close. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's grab the coronet now and do the same thing. Yeah, I was going to sell this, but no, we're keeping it. We do need to... Oh, you know what? What seat does uh, that Jesse use, by the way? Oh, check it out, you guys. That's the same damn seat. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to swap that seat out real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's grab our wrench because, uh, yeah, we were missing the blue seat over here. So now this thing is going to match and I don't have to actually take it to a uh, 
I don't have to go to the upholstery shop, which is great. Excellent, excellent. Let's go ahead and bring this over. Oops, sorry, hooker. Damn it, get out of the way. What are you doing, hooker? You freaking hooker. Just kidding. It's the captain, by the way. The captain hook. Anyway, there's one. I can't even get these damn things. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the one we needed. Never mind. I thought I screwed up for a second. All right, uh, let's check the glove box in the Jazz C or the Jason as well, because um, our glove box on um, this is actually jacked. There we go. I should start driving this, honestly. I don't know if I should put it away. Um, let's go check out that glove box, however, and see if it's in good shape or not. Oh, it doesn't even have a blue one. Anyway, that's fine. Let's go ahead and jump in this thing. And uh, should we put it away or should we start driving this? I'm kind of wanting to drive this. Uh, if I'm honest with you, let's just put it away for now. We might pull it out soon. Yeah, because look at all the gauges. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we get in a little bit closer? Okay, I think this is a good view. Except for I can't see the key. There it is. There it is. Oh, and I can't. And never mind. I can't do it. Let's see. Watch, watch the gauges. The alternator. Oh, yeah. And the fuel gauge changed. And I think the oil pressure in this gauge uh, moves as well. It's really cool, actually. Here's the lights. Oh, yeah, check it out. Oh, is it? It's interior lights, probably outerior lights, too. Out, outerior. Anyway. Okay, there we go. Uh, where's the brake on this thing? Oh, it's over there. It's over there. Anyway load into drive we do have a flat tire yep i should have replaced it anyway let's just get it backed in i think we're going to try to park it next to uh the orange machine and the green machine here okay i can't quite see let's spin our head around real quick oh damn it i can't see the uh lad it's okay just get it in there we go. There we go. Slow her down. There we go. Let's turn it off. It's in neutral. Uh, we're going to hit that brake. And let's jump out. There we go. Look at that beaut. There we go. We got one, two, three, four, five cars in there. Let's just shut it. Hit the light. Hit the light. Ah, uh, too late. Too late. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Those are all in there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started on this thing. We already been going for about a half an hour. Um, we do want to push this up a little bit more. I don't like where I park this. Whatever, whatever. It's fine. Let's grab this uh, seat. Let's actually put this in. We're going to grab our wrench. So we're going to have to start taking tallies here of what we need. Uh, there's a back seat, a front seat. Um, let's look at the shifter real quick. That shifter looks garbage. So we need a passenger seat, a rear seat, and a rear left um, panel there. The right one is fine. Yep. Front right seat, back seat, rear left panel. Front right seat, back seat, rear left panel. Okay, let's look at the dash and everything. Okay, it all looks pretty good. Oh yeah, the shifter. Okay. Oops, god damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Um let's look at the trunk. Everything looks fine. Let's come down. Lights look good. Uh we do have some suspension problems in there, so we're gonna have to take this inside and put it on the lift. And of course we have some engine problems. Uh lights look good. Okay, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and take this into the garage there. Um, stick it on the lift. We're going to bag that. We're going to make sure we have a clear path, however, because we don't. Yep, nope, we sure in the hell don't. I do got a mess in here. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and clean up some of the mess, but not really. It looks clean enough. It looks clean enough. Let's go ahead and pull it in. And let's see if we could 100% this in the next half of an hour. Yes, 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 yes. Now, it's not going to look beautiful. And that's mostly the uh, interior's fault, right? Uh, but we should be able to back this in. We're going to pop that clutch out. 
Okay, get both feet on the pedals. There we go, there we go. Okay, let's see if we can get it in here without hitting anything. It's a little bit hard to judge, but I think we got it. Let's just stop it right here. There we go, there we go. Okay, we'll just push it into place from here. Uh, yeah, we're over a little bit. Get over it, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, these builds are fun too, um, getting them from the used car lot. Uh, because, you know, you don't spend as much time on them because most of the parts are fine. Now, let's go ahead and put these underneath. There we go. And, yeah, you don't have to do, like, a complete, complete rebuild of the car, which is also kind of nice. I mean, I like rebuilding cars uh, from, like, scratch or whatever when they're really, really down to nothing. Let's go ahead and lift it. There we go, there we go. Let's go ahead and, oh, we don't have any torches up here. You know what? Let's go to the store real quick. Uh, we're just gonna run over, wait, does the gas station have uh, flashlights? I don't think so, I don't think so. Let's take a look here, however. Oh, they do have this little tiny flat. Bro. Bro. You guys see this thing? Do you guys freaking see this thing? Oh my god, Viking. Viking, you beautiful freaking bastard. Bro, we have a funnel, you guys. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot believe we have a funnel. Um, If you don't know, I'm actually on the beta branch right now. Uh, let's go get a big torch. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the beta branch. Uh, I figured out how you actually do that. Uh, we play endlessly or we game endlessly. You guys know that YouTube channel? He does my garage videos. Yeah, well, I think it's his, one of his most recent videos um, at the very beginning. Well, no, no. Anyway, he talks about the new Niv uh, pickup truck. Anyway, in his comment section, you can see how you access the beta. I don't remember offhand, so you just have to look at it. Anyway, anyway. Did you know that you could put closed boxes on trailers? I serve them outside. Bro, I freaking know. Anyway, check it out. These are also part of the Ever actual. The screwdriver? Cause I did, and it works. Shut up, shut up. You're talking too much. Anyway, check this bad boy out. This is part of the actual game now. It's not just a mod. It's going to be part of the next update. Oh my god. Okay, let's grab. Uh, let's just grab all four. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now we'll have four jack stands. Oh, and I'm so glad that they're only... How much did we pay for this thing? 38 bucks a piece. Oh, dude, the modded ones are like 500 bucks or something like that. These ones are actually priced realistically. Anyway, anyway, uh, damn it. I forget what I even came here for now. Oh, yeah, the builder's torch. Let's go ahead and grab two of these. Uh, they are 100 bucks a piece, but they make our lives so much better. And check it out. The funnel is over here. Uh, let's look at the shelves and see if there's anything else. <gasps> oh, my God, you guys. Sorry, I got a little excited here. Look. These wrenches are part of the new freaking update. Oh, yeah, we're getting a new wrench. Um, let's get a blue one. I mean, we have tons of wrenches everywhere, but... Oh, dude, this one looks great. Oh, I'm kind of sad it's not a socket wrench, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, anything else that uh, we don't know about? I don't think so. Does any of these rims look new? I don't think so. Maybe this one. I don't know if I remember that one. Anyway, anyway, okay, we're done. Let's head back. Um, what did we just buy from there, by the way? Oh, yeah, builder's torches. Yeah, don't see anything new out here. Okay, well, that's pretty freaking awesome. Oh, yeah, and let me know, guys. Did you guys know Minty's Garage? Um, so I decided to abandon my thing of not l watching anybody else's my garage videos. I think 200 videos in, I can watch other people's videos now. Anyway, um, I noticed on a gentleman named Minty's Garage... He has these amazing signs on his front of his garage. Now, I'm assuming they're a mod because he seems to play with a lot of... Oh, God, look how bright that is. We don't need that much light. Uh, maybe we'll put one on this side, though. 
anyway, he seems to play with a lot of mods. Uh, he has an air compressor mod and all of that, which is really cool. Okay, anyway, enough about all that. Let's get under here. Let's grab our new wrench, actually. Oh, dude, I can't believe it. Oh, my God. Uh, you know what? Let's test out this jack stand, by the way. Um, let's see. Let's just put it on this niv over here. Let's see how it works. Now, from uh, we game endless endlessly, it doesn't look like we need to put... Yeah, it just pops right in. You don't actually have to tighten it up like you do on the modded version. And then it pops out with a, a good old hold. Okay, that actually works really great. That, lower, that works really great. Okay, um, you know what? Just for continuity or symmetry, we're going to put the other one on there as well. Um, we're not using jack stands anytime soon, I don't think. Maybe we will. I mean, we have the, the lift here. So anyway, anyway, hurry up, quad. We only got 20 minutes now. We're wasting too much time messing about here. Um, yeah, that works really great. Dude, Viking. Oh, man. I love this goddamn game, bros. I do. I love this fucking game so much. Anyway, um, let's... Oh, dude, I really want to use the funnel. I really, really want to use the funnel. Let's go practice on the funnel. Can't believe he put a funnel in. Bro, I just, like... I mean, I'm not going to take credit for it. Uh, You know? <laughs> but what was it? Just, like, a couple episodes ago. Not even that many episodes ago. I asked to have a funnel. You know what I mean? Let's just take this off. You know what? Let's check the oil on this, by the way. Okay, the oil's fine. But anyway, let's see how this works. Now, I'm assuming it just clips in, right? Like I suggested. <laughs> dude, it just clips in. Oh, dude, it makes the hole so much bigger. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm so sorry. I got so excited. Oh, that's amazing. I can't wait, bro. I hope somebody releases that damn air compressor mod soon on Nexus. Um, anyway, anyway, screwing around, let's grab the wrench. Um, let's start yanking. We have a bad, uh, spring here. Let's, uh, leaf spring, that is. Let's go ahead and pull it off. Spring, leaf spring. Anyway, just fall, please. Thank you. Let's grab this rear shock. Uh, we do have a bad a brake line. Actually, we have a br bad master brake as well. Uh, so we're going to have to put that on, but there is a small brake line here. That's bad. I don't think we have any of those parts. Let's go ahead and release this top one. Uh, let's look at the brakes, the rotors. They look good. Drive shaft diff all looks fantastic. Um, up to the front suspension, we do have another bad brake line. Let's go ahead and pull that off completely. Just let it fall. Uh, we do have a bad hub on this one as well. Uh, let's come over to this side. A brake line looks good. Tie rods look good. Steering bits look good. A steering motor looks good. This other linkage looks good. Okay, so we just have a bad hub over here. Um, this hub uh, does look good. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and pull this tire off. And uh, we'll put the hub on the list. And these have uh, the cool rims. I like these rims. Let's just let it fall because we've seen what happened yesterday. Um, what do we need to do? Well, I think we're going to have to release the brake caliper. Uh, we need to get a screwdriver so we can release the rotor. Oh, man. I'm pretty happy about this next update, man. I don't know what else is going to be in there. I don't like I have I go to the discord and I, I kind of lurk. Right. And um, that kind of thing. Okay, so there's the hub. Okay, let's put everything on into our list uh, right now. All right, I got the rear leaf, the rear shock, two brake lines, a master line, a front hub. Uh, we got the rear shock, I said, yep, front hub, uh, two lines. Okay, I think that's everything that we need for the running gear. Let's grab our wrench again. Uh, let's just double check. We're going to release this master brake line while we're here. Now, let's see if we can actually reach it, though. We can. Uh, did I release this one? I did not, but I did now. There we go. We need a master break. We already got that on the list. Okay, uh, well, we might as well drop it. We got everything for suspension. Uh, yeah, let's just drop it, and let's look in the engine bay. And uh, we still have 18 minutes. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, we might as well just take it all the way down. It's fine. Let's go ahead and open up the hood. Let's grab our new blue wrench. 
Here we go. Let's take a look in here. Okay, so we have quite a few things. Well, I only see two things right off the bat. First is the battery. Um, let's go ahead and yank this off. We'll put it on the list. Uh, there's an air filter. Uh, well, lid. Let's just take off this lid real quick. There we go. The filter itself looks fine. The base looks fine. A battery and an air lid round. Okay, let's see what else we got going on in here. All right, all right. Belt looks good. Water pump looks good. Alternator does indeed look fine. Uh, starter, carburetor, ignition coil looks great. Uh, what is that down there? Air oil filter looks good. Exhaust looks good. How's the starter look? The starter does look good. Oh, we got to put that brakes back on, by the way. Oh, we didn't want to lower this all the way. I forgot we have the tire off. Dang it. Let's go ahead and lift it up just a smidge. There we go. There we go. Anyway, let's take a look here. Um, okay, that all looks fantastic. I think we're going to have to... Okay, we can see whatever these things are called. Rockers. Uh, the rocker's good. Let's see if we can look at the head gasket. We cannot because we just can't get in close enough. But let's look at this other rocker. That rocker is good. Oh, can you see the head gasket? I don't think there's a head gasket on this thing, you guys. Oh, weird. Anyway, can we look in this one? Oh, look, I don't see a head gasket on this one either. But the piston looks fine. Okay, uh, let's look at the timing chain. The timing chain looks good. Let's go underneath real quick and just stick our heads in through this way. Okay, we have a bad crankshaft. Okay, we're going to have to... Uh, lift this thing up and pull off the bottom end. Uh, not a problem. Radiator looks good. Lights look good. Motor uh, for the wipers look good. Uh, we are missing one wiper blade, however. The motor on the inside looks good. And the gauge cluster, the brakes, the thing. Okay, that all looks fantastic. Let's lift it up. Let's pull off that oil pan. And I forgot to look at the gas tank. The gas tank uh, does look good. Ooh, I like these exhaust. Excellent, excellent. Oh, yeah, and if I didn't mention, uh, the Niv truck is going to be coming in the next update. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I've seen people have that Niv truck before, and I really have always wanted it. So <laughs> I'm excited that it's a actual thing. Anyway, there goes the oil pan. Uh, let's take a look in here. Oh, yeah, that crankshaft is jacked let's just go ahead and pull it off uh we are allowed to do it this way so we're going to there we go we got one more there it is let's pull the whole thing out there she blows there she blows the crankshaft pulley is good uh but everything else on this sob is bad so we're gonna bring it over to the bench uh, we're gonna have to yank everything but let's put in the list the crankshaft itself there we go. We got the crankshaft added. Uh, none of the pistons are bad. None of the clutch parts are bad. So that's great. Carbonic balancer pulley is good as well as that. Okay. Uh, let's just look up in here one more time. I don't know what I'm grabbing, by the way. Oh, that's the oil filter. Put it back in. The camshaft does look good. Transmission looks good. Okay. Well, we're ready to 100% this thing. So we're going to... Uh, dude, 200% in one day, I'm going to be happy. We might as well grab the runner and take it across the street and grab everything that we need. I think that's everything, though. You know what we didn't check for was dents. We shouldn't have any, but we're going to check anyway. Let's just bring it down a smidge. Let's grab the hammer. And uh, let's just kind of check for dents real fast. Just kidding, guys. I don't have a hammer down here. You know what? I think we do have one over here at the gas station. So let's just grab this one. We're going to double check that thing real quick uh, just to be on the safe side. You know what I mean? Of course you do. Of course you do. Oh, Jesus. I almost knocked the whole car down. Okay, it looks great. It looks great. Let's grab the runner. Let's go grab our parts. All right, um, I don't know if the brake is on. It doesn't seem like it. We're just going to run back through here. Uh, we might call a construction company someday and put a road through here. 
Uh, but we're just gonna pull back in. There we go. Let's get it stopped. And let's get everything that we need. Yes, you don't see any signs in here, do you guys? I was hoping on the update he was gonna add signs. I'll be honest, being a stone clerk, it's a pain. But at least I get to meet nice people. Like you, for example. This guy. This guy, do you hear him? Anyway, I don't see anything else new. So... Hey, buddy, I got a bunch of stuff I need to get. Okay, let's start with the interior. So we're going to grab the seat, the back seat, the rear left panel, and the shifter. Here is the front right. Here is the rear seat. And here is the rear left panel. We still need a shifter, which is right here. We're just going to grab... Uh, we'll just grab this one. Okay, that's this whole row. Let's just go ahead and delete it. Press enter. And now let's head over to suspension. We need a leaf spring. We need a one front hub. And we need a rear shock. Let's go ahead and bag... Oh yeah, we could bag them, but not yet. Let's go ahead and delete them off of the list. There we go. Let's go to the brake section now. Oh, check it out. For the Jason doesn't have them coded yet. Um, So we're just going to have to switch it to all cars. Come to brake. We need two brake lines. And we need one main. We're going to go ahead and delete that line. Here's the crankshaft. We're going to grab that for 210. Here's the air filter lid. For 21. I thought there were batteries in the catalog. I can't seem to find it. So we're just going to grab the one up here on the shelf for 69 giggity dollars. There we go. Hey, mate. I got some stuff that might interest you. Take a look around, all right? And that should be all of the things right there. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Possum. I didn't delete it, by the way. I forgot to press enter. Anyway, let's go ahead and bag all this stuff. Uh, you know what? We're going to grab this window, by the way. What is this even for? It's for a lad. I noticed it during edit on the last video. Anyway, let's grab everything. Uh, yeah, we're just going to bag it all, take it to the back of the truck, except for those brake lines. I think we might keep those, but let's go ahead and drop everything back here. There we go. I am going to keep those brake lines. However, I don't want to lose them. Let's go ahead and grab the seats. Um, is that everything? Look, there's another window down here, by the way. Those are both for the lad coop. Uh, let's just come over here to make sure we got it all. It does appear to be the case. Excellent, excellent. Okay, well, let's head back. And let's get all of this stuff added. Hey, buddy, thank you very much. Please come again. Just kidding. I'll come again. Anyway. Let's throw it in drive. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're just going to come around this way. Okay, that didn't take too long. Let's see if we can get this all done uh, before the end of the video. You know what? Regardless, I'm just going to get it finished. And yeah, yeah, we're just going to get it 100% uh, regardless. So anyway, let's just shut this off. And let's head in there. Let's head in there. Uh, let's just go ahead and drop our stuff. Here's the two brake lines. Here's the front right seat and the door panel. Excellent. Let's go ahead and grab... Uh, the other stuff out of here. We're just going to bend in and grab it. There's the battery. Here's the leaf spring and that's it, the back seat. Okay. Excellent. Let's just kind of drop everything over here. Where's our wrench? Uh, let's just find our wrench, put it in hand. There it is. Okay. Let's start with the crankshaft. So we're going to go ahead and remove this crankshaft first. There we go. There's all of the pistons. Now we need to remove all of the clutch parts. There's the flywheel. Uh, all we have left is the crank pulley and the harmonic balancer. So we're just going to actually not do that. Uh, let's just pull off the entire harmonic balancer. And then we just need to grab a pry tool real quick so we can pull off that gear. And there's the pry tool. There's the pry tool. I got it. Uh, yeah, let's yank off the gear, which is right here. And let's put it on to the new crankshaft, which we have over here. Just slot that puppy on. We're going to bring over the whole crank. 
get all these other parts on. Uh, let's get our wrench back in hand. And we might as well start with the flywheel. There we go. Let's grab the clutch plate. Let's grab the pressure plate, which is right here. Okay, that looks good. Uh, let's move this hubcap and let's put on the harmonic balancer and crank pulley. Oh, damn it. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and do the pistons now. Let's see if we can get these without too many issues. Okay, that was pretty good. I had uh, not too many issues, which was great. Uh, let's go ahead and just crouch down and slide this puppy back in. There we go. Let's go ahead and tighten up that crankshaft now. We'll get that oil pan back on. There we go. As beautiful as can be. Let's get the oil pan back on now. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, okay. So... Let's lift this up all the way. There we go. There we go. What was we uh, missing over here? I forget what the hell we took off. Oh, the hub. That's right, the hub. Let's go ahead and grab that little hub, which is right here. Get that puppy attached. Tighten it. We're going to grab our screwdriver again. We're going to grab the rotor. Slap that rotor back on and get it tightened. And then we are going to grab the brake caliper, right? Yep. How are the brakes, by the way? Let's just look at them. They look fine. Uh, we'll see how the rating is doing, but we might need to change some brake pads, but let's get that on. Uh, what are we missing? Brake lines. Let's grab the brake line right here. Get it attached. There we go. Let's tighten that one. Um, let's grab the other brake line actually, and we need to put it on this rear side, right? Yep. Right here. get that tight okay what else what else let's grab the rear spring uh get this put on this side over here get them all tightened oh dude that's a great positioning for those bolts um let's go ahead and get it tight though one two there we go let's grab that rear shock that i saw over here there it is there it is let's get it on Nope, that's not how you do that. It's not how you do that. Come on, buddy. Let's get that tight. Beautiful, beautiful. What else do we have over there? I think that's everything for the rear. I believe it is. I believe it is. Um, I think that's everything for the front as well. So we might as well put the tire back on. That was the wrong pattern to tighten that, by the way. Anyway, let's grab the brake line now that we're here. We can get this attached. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tighten it up on the master first. Just kidding. We're not doing that. We're going to tighten it up here first. There we go. Now let's go to the master. We got it tight. We got it. Let's get the rest of the lines. Uh, we got the fronts. There's the backs. Beautiful. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yep, let's get that new battery in, which is right here. That new battery. Oh, dude, I think I bought the wrong lid. Damn it. I sure in the hell did. Do you see that thing? Oh, man. Why didn't I see it when I bought it? Uh, look at this. What? I thought I had it separated for the V8. This looks like the one for the six cylinder. Anyway, we're going to have to go back for a new lid. Uh, let's go ahead and do the interior. No, we're going to have to remove, take it off of the lift for the interior. Um, let's look at it. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We're up to 21. We bought it for 20. So it's not like we're making huge profits off this thing, right? I mean, maybe after we get it to 100%, but... There we go. Let's push it forward. Let's go ahead and do the interior next. Uh, we're going to grab both seats that need to be replaced as well as that back panel. Uh, we're just gonna grab them right away. Uh, where are these screwed in, by the way? Damn it, get out of here. Let's just let's just get in. 
Uh, one over here, one there. There's that rear panel. Let's get this out. Let's get the rear seats out. There we go. Um, let's just throw them outside, actually. There we go. There we go. Let's grab the new ones. Here's the rear seat. Here's the panel. And here is the passenger. Okay, excellent. Now let's just go get them all tight. Oh, no, no, that's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to open the door. There we go. Let's get them all tightened up. There we go. There we go. We got them all. We did indeed get them all. You know what? Let's check the windows real quick. I never looked at those. Oh, this has a good window. Never mind. I was going to say it has a busted window. Let's check this other one real quick. Oh, yeah, and I seen that little rust back there. Um, let's see. Okay, windows work great. Um, let's go ahead and grab that shifter I forgot about. There we go. There we go. It's a little bit hard to find, but I found it. I found it. Um, where the hell's the shifter? Under the car, of course it is. Yep, let's get that attached. There she is. Let's go ahead and tighten it. Bada bing. Bata boom. Okay, okay. What do we need? That stupid air filter. We should probably check the spark plugs as well. Um, let's do that before we head back uh, to the store to get that air filter cap. And we also need a wiper blade. We should probably check our lights as well. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights, actually. I think that's them. Let's look at them. Okay, we actually have a bunch of bald. Bald? No, they're out lights. Uh, rears are good. Uh, let's take a look at our light bulb collection. I'm just kidding. I don't have a light bulb. Will you, will you stop it? Get over here. Let's put this back up on the shelf here. Well, I didn't have a spark plug wrench over here, so we're just going to grab a brand new one for nine bucks. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's take off those spark plugs real quick. Make sure they're good. Yeah, we need three headlights. No uh, rear lights. Um, where did I put those wires, by the way? I took them off. Oh, no, I didn't. Let's take off these wires. There we go. Let's pull out the spark plugs. And uh, test, or not test them, but look at them, right? Junk. 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 Okay, well, there's three bad ones on that side. Let's check this side. Junk. Okay, and only one bad one on this sign so all we need is one box of spark plugs so let's go grab those along with our wiper blade and front bulbs and air filter thingy here's a box of headlights here's a box of spark plugs i'm assuming this is the one that i need it's next to these other big ones uh yeah yeah and this looks like the small one okay there's the, oh yeah, and it's big. We can see it there on the left. Excellent. And here is a wiper blade. Yes, yes. Now, I don't know if we need one or two. That other one looked black, but I don't see any black ones. I only see chrome. So we'll see. We'll see. Let's get over there and get the rest of these items on. And our car should be at a full-blown five stars down the board. So we should have another $30,000 car on our hand. Uh, but let's find out, I guess. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Let's go ahead and drop the blades. Uh, there's the lid. Let's just get that on right away. Um, here's the spark plugs as well. We're just going to drop that box here. Here's the light bulbs and the other wiper blade. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start with let's start with the wiper blade. Actually, uh, we're gonna put this one on. Oh wait, never mind. It's just hidden. Oh dang it. Okay, hold on. Okay, there's one. Um, I I can't quite get the other one, but I'm going to try here. Well, let's put on the one that we took off. There we go. Let's grab this other one that's, like, hidden. There we go. I got it. Uh, I can't tell if it's good or bad, but we're just going to put the new one on. It's fine. There we go. There we go. And, okay, this one probably was good. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put the headlights in. Looks like we need one, two, three. Oh, we need to pull out the old lights, of course, of course. Uh, let's pull out these old ones. 
There's one. We're just going to throw it outside. And of course, I can't see the other one, but there it is. There it is. Let's throw it outside. Put the new one in. And same with this one. And here is the new one. Excellent, excellent. Let's go and put this back on the uh, back here on the bench or something. Uh, let's grab the spark plugs next. We have them right here. We needed how many did we say? Looks like all four. So one, two, three. We're just going to drop all four right there. Let's grab our socket. And here we go. Here we go. Let's put them in. I think we needed all three on this side. Beautiful. Let's grab the one for the other side. We'll put the wires back on. Uh, we're going to have to check fluids, by the way. Uh, there we go. Let's put the wires back on. There we go. There we go. Uh, are we forgetting anything? Anything, you guys? Okay, I don't think so. I think we got it all. Um, Let's take a look at the overall. Check it out. We're at a full-blown five stars all the way down the board once again. 22,000. That means that's 2,200 for 10%. 44, 6,600 uh, bonus, basically. So we're going to sell this for almost 30,000 again. Excellent. Okay. Well, awesome. Possum, you guys. That was actually a pretty good episode. We did two five star builds today. Um, we're not going to turn this one. Oops. We're not going to turn this one in right now because we're, I've already been going for over an hour. I mean, I guess we could sell it uh, as is, but we're just going to keep it um, just like this. But it looks pretty good. I like the color, actually. If you're curious about the color, there's the number. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this one, you guys. I think that will be it. Oh, careful, buddy. Careful. Uh, our runner's proving well. Let me know. Do you think the next one... Would you guys like to see me just kind of get all of our cars painted or should I just do it behind the scenes? You know what I mean? Anyway, anyway, that'll be it for this one, you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys in another one later on, everybody. Later, later on. Later on, everybody. Adios. Adios.